and I'll call the meeting. Um, you all have received a copy of the minutes of March the 2nd and the Game and Fish Commission and I would uh, ask you all to approve those minutes. Do I have a Jeff, motion? I need that pack of minutes on the table in there. Charles Burton, I approve the minutes. I, okay. I move that the minutes be approved. I'll make okay. a second. I have a motion and a second. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Chairman. All those opposed Mr. Name. Chairman. Sir. Need to interrupt. Heather has to call the roll to take a voice vote. Thank you. I need that education. <laughs> I agree with you. No, no. Hey, I do. Go for it. All right. Mr. Godfrey. Aye. Mr. Phillips. Aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Luter. Mr. Rust? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Mr. Stanfield? Aye. Mr. Sales? Aye. Mr. Woods? All right. Motion carries, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, do we have any items from commissioners? No items from commissioners. Um, who just joined? Bill Townsend. Good job, Bill. Thank you. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I had a customer call. <laughs> It'll work. Okay, with no new items from commissioners, items from staff. Go ahead, Scott. Um, I would like, even though this is like weird circumstances and nobody can see anybody, I'm excited <laughs> to bring on board our new fish biologist, John Rayfield. Um, John is originally from Georgia. He's been working in Rhode Island. Um, he has a background in fisheries. Uh, I know he's worked up in Alaska and some other places. He's even done some shark wrangling. Uh, John is... Uh, I've been real impressed with what I've seen so far. John's been great. He's working really hard out of the fish hatchery to get it all cleaned up and in order. So, uh, John, you want to say anything about yourself? Um, hi, my name's, uh, like I said, John Rayfield. Uh, I graduated in, from Georgia Southern in uh, 2014. And um, since then, I have worked pretty much from the Bahamas all the way up the northern seaboard. Uh, I've also worked in Alaska with uh, salmon hatcheries, and so I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. There you go. Any commissioners have a question for our new fisheries biologist? I do. No, but <coughs> go ahead. I was just wondering how Kitchen Lake's looking out there. Any Mr. more vandalism or? Uh, Mr. Sales? Yes. Make all commissioners, if, if you have a comment or you have a question for the fisheries biologist, go ahead and state your name so that Heather can uh, record it properly. Thank you. Okay, my name's Ronnie Sales, and I want to thank you for coming on board. And I would like to know at Kitchens Lake or any of the other lakes if you're having any trouble with vandalism, and if you are, you're fixing it or what? Um, well, we did do a check on Kitchens Lake, I think, before I got here, and everything seemed to be on the up and up with that one. Uh, Lake Crystal is um, our one concern right now. We're having problems with uh, people uh, pulling off uh, the plywood from the restrooms and going into there. And um, basically, they're also making their own roads. They kind of, there's some potholes, so they're driving around and making their own pathways. Okay. That's kind of um, at that, what we're seeing right now. Okay. 
John, this is Rick Godfrey, and uh, I'm absolutely delighted to have you down here, and I hope we have a good and long relationship, because I've heard good things about you. So, keep it up. John, this is Bill Townsend. Oh, I just welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you. John, this is Charles Burton. Glad to have you here. I was wondering, how how do you like Oklahoma City so far? (laughs) I haven't gotten to see much of the city. I've been to the parks as much as possible, though. You know, all the social distancing going around. Right. uh, I've just been uh, hiking and taking the dog out whenever I get the chance. Yeah. Well, it's glad to have you here. John, this is Noble Stanfield. Glad to have you there. I have one question for you. Yes, sir. Do you know how to fry fish? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask about duck hunting. Yeah, yes, sir. I, uh, um, <laughs> I've fried a few fish before in my life. Well, we may have to <laughs> use your services one of these days. <laughs> well, this is Bill Townsend again. If we're going to talk yes, about sir. fishing, I want to bring up uh, fishing in Alaska. Yes, you know, I, I'm old enough. I need somebody to help me. Hey, Amen. Well, help, help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Chairman, I think we've moved on. <laughs> we have. I'm, I'm on your side. Um, this is Ron Sales again. Uh on Crystal Lake, what caused that uh, fish kill? Uh, there wasn't, we have nothing on this fish called Crystal. We do have, where was it? It was South uh, Lake Park West. Okay. We had um, right now, we think it was uh, just uh, rapid temperature fluctuations. And pond turnover. Okay. Yep. Okay, Scott, you want to give uh, the uh, the report on uh, your uh, fishing permits? Oh, fishing permits. Yeah. Why? <laughs> the one thing I want to start off with is um, online permits. They are selling like gangbusters. Uh, I just talked to staff, and they've we've sold over 1,700 permits just this month online. Wow. So the online permits are really going strong. We've had a few, a few glitches that we're working out and have worked out with the IT department. The one big thing right now is we're limited on what we can do with a mobile device right now, just because of the technology that we have to work with with IT. Um, hopefully that will be an upgrade in the future. We'll be able to make it more friendlier for mobile devices. Um, but we're selling uh, lots and lots of permits online. And a lot of, I know, I think just over the weekend, I was told that they sell 90 voting permits just over the weekend online. Right. Scott, Scott, this is Don Meisch. Yes, I can confirm that uh, Tasha has mailed out uh, 90 boating stickers this morning to people who bought boating permits over the weekend. Yeah, that's a lot. This is Bill Townsend, and you, you have just answered my question about the marvelous $24,000 ahead of last year to date. Yep, and it must be the beginning effect of the online permitting and licensing. Well, I think that, and I think, and this is going to sound weird, you know, everybody being at home, everybody want to go fishing too. So I think that's kind of helped a lot too. So, uh, and like you said, we are we are way ahead of our, our last year, uh, same third quarter. So we're doing really well on our permits. Yeah, aren't, aren't we advertising it too, Scott? Yes. And we have it on, we're there, and online, our permits, I think we have them in about four different locations online to try to make it easier for people to get to them also. So things are looking really well. Okay. 
let's have let's go ahead unless there's questions from the commission let's go ahead and get your uh, fisheries update then john do you have of course, that of course john's already given part of it by going out and talking about the vandalism but go ahead well um so for april i started of course uh we have around 10,000 hybrid sunfish maintained uh, the ponds are checked daily with water levels maintained uh, we have our zebra mussel samplers checked nothing has been found uh, fish feeders have been maintained at kids lake edwards uh, pond lake south lakes park east lake and route 66 Pond screens were repaired. The entrance grounds were uh, cleaned to trash. Uh, full inventory was taking, taken of the hatchery. Um, cattails in our pond four are being removed. Um, Good. And uh, let's see, uh, we made a depth stick to be able to monitor our uh, water levels even closer. Uh, Due to the COVID, uh, we have no walleye fry or hybrid striped bass fry for this year. Um, uh, two ponds were set up for uh, walleye, but were drained, uh, so maintenance could be done to the ponds. Uh, line maintenance came and fixed the leaking pond, uh, leaking line for pond one, and, and fixed the pond, uh, leak five um aerators uh for pond one those stones were repaired and aerator for pond three was turned on we have no fish sampling done um, for habitat we placed out 73 blocks we're placing crystal lake pond south lake park east lake and lake draper we mainly focused on ADA areas for wheelchair accessibility and kids to be able to get to them. We've also made another uh, 28 spider blocks to be out, uh, put out later date. Um, no fish sampling. Um, other things were, uh, uh, we did some um, housekeeping checks done on Edwards Pond Lake Kitchen Lake Park uh, and Crystal Lake Park were bi weekly housekeeping checks were done at Draper Lake, South Lakes Park, East Lake, Kids Lake, and Route 66. Uh, fish kill at South Lake was investigated, roughly 50, uh, 500 gizzard shed, one bluegill, and one turtle were cleaned up. Zebra mussels uh, samplers at Lake Draper, Crystal Lake Park, Kitchen Lake Park, South Lakes Park, uh, East Kids Lake, and Edwards uh, Park Lake were checked. No zebra mussels were found. Aerators uh, were turned on at Edwards Park, and a work order has been placed in for the aerator at Delisi. Uh, they're still trying to figure out why the power is run there. And that's it. Sounds good. Great. John, this is Bill Townsend. On the uh, cattails at the fishery, are we digging them out and using supplemental spraying? Uh, right now, I've drained and we are just basically digging them out with pitchforks at this moment. Um, we haven't done any spraying of any of the ponds that we don't have fish in at this moment. Okay. He's Thank you. For helpers. Do you want to keep? Yeah, this is Keith. Anybody that wants to grab a pitchfork and get in there, go <laughs> right ahead. <laughs> Woo! Uh, well, I've done a little bit of everything trying to get rid of cattails, and the uh, I've I've never had really good success except draining and leaving them dry well uh, we're uh we're trying to get them as dry as possible um where right now we're just pulling out as much of the dead leaf matter as uh, we can uh we yeah. are getting a tiller to come in 
to help break up the root structures. And um, we're going to go from there. We'll probably spray later in the season mm -hmm. when they go on dormant and taking up as much nutrients as possible so we can probably knock them out for next year. Wow. Good. Sounds like a good start. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any other items from staff? Mr. Chairman? Sir. Um, I will have Heather reach out to uh, each of the commissioners to see if they have access to uh, uh, computers or other devices that we could have a more visual, either through Zoom meetings or something along those lines. So if we have to continue these these separations that we have been enjoying recently. Uh, maybe we can get uh, the, the technology to the next level, do a training for everybody on their iPhones so that we can actually have visual contact with each other, even though we will be doing these uh, electronically, possibly going forward for another month or two. So uh, we, we want you to all to think about it. If you have a modern cell phone or a surface or a, a laptop at, at your place of business or your home, maybe we can work it out that uh, you can look each other uh, in the eye while we are having these commission meetings going forward. So it's, that's excellent. I was on one, for those of you that haven't been on them, I was on one last week and uh, I started 15 minutes before the meeting got started and I finally got on three minutes before the meeting ended and I could see everything but I couldn't get in uh, so I had a big learning curve on that and, we'll, uh, we'll have but it does once, work it really yeah, once, works once we've established who has what kind of equipment we can we can do a tutorial uh, Heather and I can do a tutorial individually with our IT person uh, so that everybody can uh, learn how to use their equipment. And like I said, it, it maybe this will end after, after today's meeting, or we may be going into this fall doing it this way, but we'll, we'll try to establish some kind of decorum so that um, each of the commissioners can actually see each other um, remotely. And, and that way, uh, we can have maybe more meaningful meetings for you all to participate in. Excellent. That's, well, that's all the staff. You can mark me down for having a Fred Flintstone phone. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, all well, right, well, that, I mean, that, that takes I mean, care of that. So uh, we'll yeah. turn the meeting back over to you, Mr. Chairman. That's all from staff. Perfect. Thank you very much, staff. And we couldn't do it without you, and I appreciate you, and so does the commission. Uh, are there any items from citizens? Yes, we have one that has uh, called in. Isn't that correct, all Heather? Right. Mr. Keith Thompson? It's me. Oh, the wildlife department, Thomas. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all right. Um, just uh, things that we've talked about in the past. Um, I, I mentioned it to Rick and to Scott. Um, just wanted to see if we uh, could get a uh, work order for the east shoreline uh, at Zoo Lake. Um, the brush clearing, it's more than just mowing the grass, but uh, I was out there a couple weeks ago just taking pictures, and it was crowded with anglers, but they're packed shoulder to shoulder because there's no place to fish. Um, hey, Keith, I, I mean, there's Yes, go ahead. Um, Doug Cupper, uh, that, that property is totally leased to the zoo. They mm -hmm. are responsible for maintenance. We can right. have a conversation. I'd be happy to set up a meeting with the director and his landscape people, but but uh, it, it'd be beneficial if, if you had that conversation with, with okay. uh, Dr. Lawson over at the zoo because uh, okay. we really don't have any jurisdiction in there. And, and okay. um, we've, we've tried to they, – they like it all natural for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, okay. I think we need to have that conversation 
Uh, yeah, again, I'd, and, I'd be happy to participate or set up the meeting, but I think you got to have a, a, a conversation with uh, Dr. Lawson and his his head right. of grounds so that uh, they understand the the need to make that lake more accessible to the anglers. Okay, yeah, I realize that they're the the caretakers for over there, but uh, it seems like we've talked to them in the past and nothing happened. Um, so I was just wanting to bring it up today and, and yeah, that's fine. If, uh, if we can schedule a meeting, um, and, uh, and even the Girl Scout, uh, folks, uh, I, I just want to know if they're, uh, okay with, uh, you know, us being there as a close to home fishing site. I don't know, uh, how much they're going to use the pond, but, well, but yeah, yeah I, think, be, I think the Girl Scouts be are nice planning to, on, yeah, the Girl Scouts are planning on using the lake. So it may yeah. be fortuitous for us to have that conversation with Dr. Lawson now. Correct. Yeah. The, okay. The, the, this is Rick Keith. The mm -hmm. uh, scouts are interested in it. Um, right. And the zoo has got an extra floating dock that they've right. talked to me about in the past. Yeah. Um, bringing it over to the east. Yeah. The side swan of the boat lake for docks. Them. Yeah. Yes. Right. Exactly. And, uh, so that would be beneficial if we get a meeting yeah. set up. Yeah, because yeah. Bob and I, I mean, we knew about that last fall or last summer or whatever, yes, but it uh, was. we well, didn't do we anything. But it. I'd hate to move them over to our side and then have the Girl, Girl Scouts or somebody say, no, we don't want them. That is correct. That's exactly <laughs> so, right. And it needs to be a conversation of all the parties. Yeah. So, um, okay. But, yeah, just a uh, meeting sometime, and, and uh, I don't my, I don't have uh, – Mr. Lawson's uh, number, but I don't mind. We'll get it, we'll get it set up. up for you. Okay. Um, and then the other item I had was just, uh, and I realize this is the River Trust bunch probably, but the uh, the dock, the courtesy dock that's on the western basin of o o Oklahoma River, it's uh, experienced some damage due to the drawdown for dredging. Um, the pencils or the spuds are bent. And there's some uh, pinching of the decking and the framework um, on the deck itself um, because it's 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 just totally collapsed basically. Um, I'm afraid if it uh, if it if it ever fills up, um, or I haven't seen it recently, but uh, last time I took a bunch of pictures and I actually sent uh, a picture to Rick and to uh, Scott this morning or just a few minutes ago actually, but. Um, I'm afraid that if it if the river comes back up when they're done, and I I think I've visited with um, the public works gentleman Jim Llewellyn. Yeah, and he said they were just about done, and they were they were going to move move on down. I think, but uh, I'm afraid if they fill it back up, that we won't be able to make repairs, or it'll just be damaged even more. Um, it'll be submerged some of it, so. Um, so I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention, and, and uh, I, I, um, I don't think I don't know who to talk to on that really. So, but uh, just wanted to bring that up. So that's all I had. <clears throat> is there a contact on that? It's not Jim, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, I've got his name, his email, and phone number. I'll just give him a visit. But uh, he did tell me that uh, they are in the process of buying a dredge barge i guess that'll go down to 12 feet so they in the future they hope that they will not have to drain the river for the water taxis uh, for because i guess they're running aground um and just general clean outs but uh is what they've been doing but but uh yeah this the the western basin has been down for a long time and and uh and yeah the dock was damaged so but uh, in the future hopefully they don't have to do that anymore with this new boat so, so. Well, we'll pass it on to the River Trust. Okay. Thank you. Mr. That's all Chairman, I had. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Bill Townsend. Since I joined late, I uh, missed the items from commissioners, and I'd like to add one thing. During the safe at home period, I made a point of going around and checking activities at Lake Hefner during the noontime, and I was amazed at the amount of usage uh, by citizens, bicyclers, 
sunbathers, you name it, fishermen. And uh, in observing all of the activity, I noted that the area itself was surprisingly clean. And I think staff deserves a round of applause and a pat on the back for taking care of it that well. It does look it. very good, Bill. <clears throat> All right, any other items from commissioners? Any other items from staff? Uh, the meeting is adjourned.